I speak to people all the time, and people always tell me that I'm possessed of witchcraft. I'm not possessed of witchcraft. I'm going, I'm helping people that have been sub silenced on the subject because they are, are are in tune or they've been brainwashed or they've been manipulated, they've been duped. But I am a servant of the living God. I am a prophet to tell you that there's ten facts of witchcraft. Yeah, ten facts of witch and witchcraft. Ten facts. I like to put these facts out because these facts will make you be finally free from your agonies. Ten facts of witchcraft. Number one, witch comes in all forms and fashion. Yes, witch comes in all forms and fashion. A witch is not a person just have a, a broom or a broomstick and ride in the sky. That's Hollywood witch. But a witch is a person walk among us. They're on our job. They're in our family. They're in our churches. They're in the government. They're everywhere. Witches comes in all forms and fashion. Number two, witches are majority in our churches. Yes, witches are the majority in our church, especially on a pulpit. There are pastors and cooks. Yes, pastors and cooks. In our churches, witches. Third thing I notice, witches are the majority of women of seductions in our church. There are no, there are more women that are witches in our churches. Here go together. And the fourth thing I notice, wizards are men of intelligence. These are the mind control. These are the manipulators. That's why pastors. We never think a pastor will be a witch. We never think a pastor be a wizard, but they are. Fifth thing I notice. Wizard involved in hallelujah horoscope in magic is illusion. Wizard involved in horoscope. If you are a person that reads in a horoscope, you become a witch. You switch from Christianity or being a Christian to witchcraft. So if you are going to the, the style magazine section and, and read your horoscope, you're in tune with witchcraft. You were the witch telling your future, then depending on God to tell you your future. Ten facts of witch and witchcraft. Number six, wizard is being is is being forced to do something that you don't want to do. Witchcraft. Is being forced. How you know you're involved in witchcraft? When how you know that you you the person you are dating is a witch because you've been forced to do something you don't want to do is a manipulation of the sexist. If your man, if your woman force you to do something that you don't want to do, but you end up doing it, you've been being manipulated into witchcraft. Your life going to surround a witch. So the best thing to do is take turn off the switch. Like how I turn the switch off right now. And tell you that anytime you are involved in witchcraft is darkness. But turn the light on by leaving the person. Yes, I'm talking about, I'm talking about witchcraft. I'm talking about witch. Ten facts of witchcraft that nobody talks about. If been forced to do something that you don't want to do, it's, it's called manipulation, domination, seduction. It's witchcraft. Don't be fooled. If you're dating somebody that forced to do something that you don't want to do, you're uncomfortable, but you do it, you've been forced by a witch or a wizard. Hey, glory to God. And seventh thing I notice. Hey, glory to God. W witchcraft is poisoning of someone you don't like so you feed them food until you kill them slowly but surely my friend poison people will poison you with food what do you think the first thing people do give you they give you a chocolate cake because you can't see the poison inside a chocolate cake people will poison you they will poison you slowly but surely, anytime, like a mega church example, 
and they have, the domination is more basically women. Hey, glory to God. So what they do, they feed the first lady, hey, glory to God, food that she likes. And they poison her slowly but surely. I know the Bible say no dead of things that harm you. But I'm talking about how the witches are seductive, especially in the church. They will feed you with things to kill you slowly. Uh, they, they're killing you softly. And when they kill you slowly, they know traces of you, the poison in your body, because a poison gone all over your body and about to kill you. That's why I don't, when I eat something, I bless it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, or have a conscience of don't eating it. Hey, call, call, when that poison get into your system, I've been poisoned before. So I know. Hey, God, I know. And that's why I bless it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because if you bless it, God would move the poison and begin to enjoy the food. God would move the poison from the drink and begin enjoy, enjoy the drink. That's why we got to be spiritual discern. Yeah, we have to have spiritual discernment when dealing with the witch. Be censored through the Holy Spirit. Hey, glory to God, because a witch cannot kill you. Glory to God, because if you are a child of God, the witch cannot kill you. Cannot damage you, cannot put an X on you because your life is surrounded with God. Hey, glory to God. But yes, the witches, they want to poison you. So they feed you. They get comfortable with you. They want to be your friend. And when they be your friend, they're trying to kill you with niceness. Hey, glory to God. I'm trying to help you. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Ten facts of witch, witch and witchcraft. And my eighth thing I notice, hey, glory to God. Now, this is life, this is a life journey, glory, church. Because life is a journey, and I give glory to God. Witchcraft works if you are weak. Hey, glory to God. Now, when I say weak, now, the Bible says that the weak say I'm strong. I'm not talking about that kind of weakness. I'm talking when you're weak, meaning that you're not praying, you're not reading scripture, you're not fasting. You're not being in the house of God. You don't think about God. That's when you're weak. So witches work on you because you are vulnerable. You have no shield over your life. You're not putting on a whole armor of God. The Bible says put on a helmet of salvation. Put on a shield of faith. Hallelujah. We, we, uh, we have a breath, breastplate of righteousness. A of, uh, 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 waist have the belt of truth will protect our loins. Hey, glory to God. And our feet shot of preparation, the gospel of peace, and a sword, which is the word of God. If those things are not in your life, you are weak and you are vulnerable to the devil. You are vulnerable to witchcraft. And next thing, you are ignorant. You are unlearned. The Bible said we are not, we are not unlearned, we are not ignorant of the devil devices. We're not ignorant of the witchcraft devices. So the witch cannot get me because I'm not ignorant anymore. Hey, glory to God. I'm not vulnerable anymore. I'm, I'm tuned into God radio station. And God radio station is what? Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. The Bible says that study to show us that we prove unto God. I'm not ignorant because the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. People are not knowledgeable about witchcraft. They think they think everybody in church is saved. Everybody in church is not saved. People just go there for mission, mission to, to mess you up. Amen. But we got to be in tune with God's word. We are studied to show ourselves approved unto God. We are studied day and night. Glory to God. We are, we are fully saved. Hey, friend, I'm going to tell you this. The, the men of the day of Pentecost say, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter say, repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission, the counseling of your sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not fully saved. Hey, glory to God, you got you to gotta have the, the unction. You got to have Glory to God, if any man being Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, all things become new. 
transformation got to be in your life. Fully saved. There's no such thing as, as, as half saved. Either fully saved or you're not saved. Period. That's why he say when you're lukewarm, he's going to spit. He's going to vomit you out of his mouth. Because you're not, you're not fully saved. You got to be saved. You got to be sanctified. You got to be a Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. The Bible says such was some of us, but we are, we are washed. We are justified by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you, 10 facts of witchcraft and witches. Amen. Glory to God. You got one foot in the world and one foot in the church. You can't you gotta have both feet in you can't straddle the fence. You can't be lukewarm. It's no time to be lukewarm. You can't be a Christian going clubbing. You can't be a Christian and drinking. You can't be a Christian and cussing. You gotta be, you can be a Christian listen to to, to soft uh, a melody of your flesh. Listen to Rihanna. Listen to Chris Brown. Listen to to all those the people that are singing a world or something. You can't be. You can't straddle the fence. Yeah, listen to gospel music. Listen to to to, to praise music. Stop listening to Luce Evangelist or 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 Michael Jackson or Prince Purple Rain. No, I'm 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 new now. The Bible say, love not the world, neither things that are in the world. What's of the world? The lust of the flesh. What's the lust? The lust is desiring the crave of the flesh. Flesh wants sex. Yes, flesh wants sex. The lust of the eye, everything that I see that I want. Hey, glory to God. But when you are hot for Christ or cold for Christ, hey, glory to God, God can use you. And the witch won't put a put a foot in your life. Hey, glory to God. You're not hypocritical. You're not lukewarm. You, you're not reading the, the word of God faithfully. It does not have a prayer life. When you don't have a prayer life, you become vulnerable to the witches. They get in your dream. Hey, Amen. They put X on you. Many witches trying to put X on me. But, but listen, my friend, my, my life belongs to God. My life is hid in Christ. Yes, my life is here. The devil can't find my life. Hey, glory to God, because I'm covered with the blood. And they shall overcome him by the blood of the Lamb, and they love not their life unto death. Hey, glory to God. Number ninth reason. Family ties with occultism. You're not giving your life to Jesus Christ, but listen to the forefather teaching of occultism. You have not cut the tides of family witchcraft. I've cut the ties. When I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, my mother blood line cut. Now I'm a Christian. I'm not a Christian witch. I am a Christian. You hear me? I'm not a Christian witch. I'm a Christian. Because there's no such thing as a Christian witch. My mother used to used to use the Bible and put curses on people. Hey, glory to God. But I'm a Christian. Not a Christian witch. I'm a Christian, not a Christian witch. I'm not a religious witch. Hey, glory to God. Because those things, my friend, Satan has used manipulation art to get people, to get other people into their craft. So my bloodline, when I accept Jesus Christ fully as being a Christian, my bloodline of being a witch has been cut. I'm sold out for Jesus Christ. So if a devil get my dream, God will still fight my battle. And then believe me, he have tried to get into my dreams. But I'm so glad that God, hallelujah, is in me whether I sleep or whether I'm up. God is still with me. So it's time to cut the bloodline by being fully saved, by giving your life totally to Jesus Christ. Let me, let me, let me put a pin right there. To give your life totally to Jesus Christ, that means that you have a prayer life daily, not just on Sunday. You read the scripture every day of your life. You're fasting because you're trying to put the flesh under subjection. You're crucifying the flesh. You're ceasing, hey, glory to God, from, from sexual activity. If you are Christian and you are single, you're not indulged in sex. 
Let me say it again. If you are a Christian, male or female, you should not indulge in sexual promiscuity. You should not be watching X-rated movie. You should not listen to cussing. You should not listen to soft, soft jams. You should, your, your, your old purpose now is to follow the gospel praises song. Songs of melody for your heart. And for your soul. The Bible said, God, your heart with all digitally, for it come the flow of life. The Bible said, but in the heart, the mouth speaketh. You gotta guard your heart. The heart is a courteous creature. Who can know them, God? I say, Paul said, Oh, wretched man I am, who should deliver me from this body of this death? He said, I thank Jesus. So your life could be surrounded with God. And tenth reason. Where did witchcraft start it? From Catholicism. Hey, go to God. It started from Catholicism. From those that want superior for power. Those who are gifted and super special ability and supernatural ability. These people want nothing to do with Jesus Christ or Satan, but with mythology and godness. Hey, go to I mean godness mean a that's myth. Mythologies, they read the book of shadows are their book for instruction. So I'm telling you 10 facts of witchcraft and being a witch. And I hope you enjoy these facts. And don't forget to subscribe to my video and put a notification bar. So I thank you for watching. Let me pray for you. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God bless this person right now. Oh God, they want to know about witchcraft. Oh God, let them know that witchcraft is evil. Witchcraft is of Satan. Witchcraft is the core of darkness. Men love darkness rather than light. Oh God, let the light of Jesus Christ shine this person's heart. Let them give them the facts, the facts of God, the facts of the scripture, the facts of the Holy Ghost. Fill them with the Holy Ghost, oh God. Give them the mind to want to be saved. Give them a mind to be baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Give them a mind to want to love God, hug, do the things of God. Satan, I put the blood of Jesus upon you right now. I rebuke you. The blood of Jesus against you right now. If you're in this person's house, get out right now. I charge you to get out. Flee in the mighty name of Abu Shate Karaba. Fire of Jesus Christ. Come on right now. I rebuke you, Satan, you lying demon. You, 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 you curse with a curse right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out of this house right now. This house belongs to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, flee fornication, flee adultery, flee, hallelujah, sexual promiscuity, flee lesbianism, flee right now, be Seattle, flee right now. The blood of Jesus, Jesus against you, Satan, you witch, come out this body, come on, reverse the curse, cancel the curses upon this lady that can't have no children right now. This man can't find a job right now. This person be, been bound to the wheelchair, let him walk right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this child right now, been afflicted right now. Heal them right now. They've been blind, open their eyes. This person been deaf, open their ears right now. This person been mute, open, loose their tongue right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, woman, thou art loose from my infirmity. Bless right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you want to read the prophet, you can go to my email address. That's lifejourney247 at gmail.com That's lifejourneychurch247 at gmail.com That's lifejourneychurch247 at gmail.com And may God bless you richly is my prayer. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. Until then, my friend, I love you. And may God bless you richly is my prayer. Peace.